Right, I've been on the beach. I picked up a couple stones and a, one fossil, or maybe two fossils, but my, my, I, can't, I couldn't have any more. <coughs> this is heavy now. So the plan is now, we've got the house over there with the church nearby. It's for me to go up this way a bit and then back round, going past that wood over there. Then I can go back down later when I get back to where I've got my camp, my van, not far from the beach. Um, I can go down on that bit up there and have a look. Now we just check the time. I'm going to have a fruit bar in a minute. It's not a huge walk by the way. It's 20 to 2 now, but you have got to be careful from here. This is all like under warning really. So keep us in as much as you can. Don't go wandering near the edge, in other words. Um, I was right down on the edge of that thing now, which is partly covered up where I was standing earlier. It's, it's covered up. I just hope that I haven't got to go for a field of cows because otherwise I'll come back this way. I want to walk up here anyway. There's no sign saying you can't. I think you just have to have common sense. I mean, you've got all this shrubbery here. That's the very edge. That's the very edge. Right, I'm turning off for a minute because you, this is just me going along the edge of a cliff top, believe it or not. There's the East Quantox Head Manor House there, which is open on the 22nd of July, having a tea party. It's not open to the public all the time. I've just noticed a type of building there. As I look back, that's something. Might not find out at the moment what it is. It's a pity they don't do coastal pathway leaflets. You know, because um, that would be interesting. I might have to do, if I don't want to go in the field of cows, I know that later on, I know that I can probably, I'll have to go on a bit of a B road and just be very careful. God, oh, it's warm though, but it's lovely. I ought to put something on my head in a minute. It's coming to that stage. Right, over and out folks for a minute. Right then folks, I'm moving further away from there. I might be coming back this path because it looks like a nice path leading back to the mansion house that I might want to do. As opposed to just going across some fields that way and round. I think it might be quite nice to do that old path. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get up to the point where I can make that sort of decision. <sighs> it's, um, I'm on the cliff edge here. So, oh, there's a little bit of a breeze then. That's nice. I've had to put my um, top over my head again. It's reached that stage. I probably should have put it on even earlier, really. But, uh, so here we are. It's quite hot. They reckon it was going to be 30 degrees today, and I think it is. But of course, I'm carrying extra weight now. I knew that would happen. I've got a couple of really nice stones. <sighs> Might get some more views, you see. <sighs> Basically, what you've got to do is, is, is walk up and then down round. There's a herd of cows there, which you're supposed to walk through that field. Whereas no way I used to doing that. There's the manor house there. All given this land by William the Conqueror, by the way. To people that fought with him at the Battle of Hastings. It goes back that far. Some families go back hundreds of years that have been resident in different places. Oh, it's a pretty thistle there, isn't it? Trying, it's just starting to emerge. Or it might have, no, it might be over. It might be over, that might be. Pretty, there's some pretty flowers out today. 
This is just magnificent, everyone. To be quite honest, this is just magnificent. I'm expecting to get attacked by loads of insects, by the way. There's a little bit more of the seeds really in now. Came in very quickly, didn't it? Apparently you can soon get caught and cut off and then you can't get up the cliff. Apparently it is quite common for holidaymakers. Oh, and they don't, they, they put a couple of cautions down. They put a couple of cautions down. Um, as you, just, only as you enter the beach. Once you get on the beach, I never notice any warning signs at all. So I, I, I imagine those people will get traps. I don't know, you don't hear about it, so I suppose most people have got common sense. I'm just walking up to the point where we're supposed to turn around and head back down to East Quantock Head, which is down there. The church is just in those trees there. I'll come back down this way, follow a nice little lane, then follow the wood round back to St Mary the Virgin. I think that'll be an, quite a nice walk for today, to be quite honest. I think that'll be quite, quite nice. I didn't find a lot of fossils, but then I didn't really have the right footwear on to go exploring. Oh, I don't know if I fancy going through here, everyone. I'll tell you why. Oh, it's only a short patch. You can bet your life going through this bit here, you'll get bit to bits. But I notice it isn't very long, so we just, we'll, um, we'll take those risks. Shut your eyes, Sheila, just keep going. Go on. <laughs> oh, the risks I've taken, I've already got midges on me. I've already got loads of bites from Sam Bay Walk. From last week. Loads of bites. Right, I'm going to turn off again now. As you can see, loads and loads of blackberries. <sighs> loads of them. Oh, and bees. I don't like bees. They do tend to scare me more than the wasp. Over and out. <sighs>